Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of ArchPest Explain. Today we're going to be talking about toolbars. Getting toolbars is really easy in 3 ds Matt. The first thing that you need to do is just go close to another toolbar that you have. Right click and then you're going to go to customize. Click on this and automatically it's going to send you to this toolbar interface. We have a few options here. The first one, which is new, and this is what we want to do, is creating a new toolbar. So I'm going to name this Soulburn. You can just name this any way that you want. And then you're going to see this new toolbar happening here. If you can't see it, just try to move the customized user interface and maybe it's going to be hidden behind it. Or also take a look to your secondary screen if you have any. The other option that we have is delete. So if I have my new toolbar, which is Soulburn, I can just right click, click on this, and I'm just going to delete it. Let me just go another one. We can also rename it. If I go to this, rename, and I can change the name to this. So as you can see, like now the toolbar is behind this, so I can just move it, and it will be right here. So I'm just going to move it in position. The first thing that I'm going to do is just go to my Soulburn scripts. I'm going to be looking for uh, the first one, which is going to be my Solver script listener. Then I'm just going to be adding a couple more or a few more. So I'm always trying to add the UI one so I can get the actual user interface for, for any of these scripts. If you have never used them, I really recommend them to you as one of the best um, three match scripts collections that you can find out there. So the next one that I'm just going to be adding is going to be the set, which is the object attacher, the object detacher, and the object dropper. After you have these set of uh, scripts, the next thing that you're going to be doing is save. So I'm just going to be saving this, overwriting it. Uh, you can just save it on any location. I just like to save it in the default one. And I always have a copy also of my UI interfaces somewhere else. So there are like a few other things that we can also do and that we need to learn. The first one is using Alt. If I click Alt and then I move this to any other position, I will be able to move any of the icons that I have here. If I use Control, I'm just going to be able to copy them. Right click, I will be able to delete a button. I'm also able to create or to change the appearance of this. So I can change the tooltip. I can also change the label. I can even change the image of the button. I'm just going to be showing something different to you. If you go back to customize, I'm just going to go to a different set of scripts that I also really like, which is the CE tools, copy and paste. What you're going to be doing here is drag and drop again, same as what we did previously. Now, the name here is too long. So what I'm going to be doing is right click, edit button, and then on the label, I'm just going to remove everything else and just keep it as paste. I'm going to do the same for the other one. Keep it as copy. So now we have paste and copy. And I'm going to be moving, remember, Alt, and I'm going to be moving this to the side. So now I have like a really organized toolbar. I can also hide it and unhide it, going to right click, and then just looking for the name that I set up. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And until the next time, thank you.